Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning how to copy our previous operation and make a few changes instead of having to start a new operation when it's really doing the same thing. So remember the first, the last operation, we've machined this surface right here with the wall. And this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to machine this surface right here, which is a step down with the wall as well. So to copy that previous operation, just right click on it and go to edit. Now when you do that, all you have to do is come down here under save and copy and click on it. What that did is that saved this operation and it copied it for a new one. So now, instead of changing all the operations, all the options over here, they're going to stay the same. So the only thing we want to pick is a new chain. So to do so, come over here under new and click on it. Let's come down here under multi-chain and then click on add. And let's click on this surface right here this time. Okay. Now you notice it's going to select two chains, not one, but two. So we want to make sure to delete one of them. So come over here under the check mark and click on OK. And then it will take you back where you see two chains. Now, if you click on it, the highlighted chain becomes pink. You'll notice the difference. There's a pink chain and there's a red one. The red one is not highlighted. The pink one is the one that I have highlighted here. So I want to make sure to delete the inner chain because I don't want it to be machining around this part. I want to be machining around this chain. Okay, so that will be this the chain number two. Right click on it and click on delete. And then say okay. And you will see that the inner chain is now deleted. Only the outer chain exists. Now that you have that done, all you have to do is click on okay. And then come over here under levels. And we just want to set a new profile depth because the first profile depth was to here. Now it's going to be to here. So click on this surface right here. It's going to update to negative 0.6 and click on OK. And that's really all you have to do. Now you're done. Click on save and calculate. And then click on simulate. And then you can click on play. And there you go. It just machined the second surface. So that's a very quick, easy way to create an operation that's very similar to a previous operation you just made without having to go through all the steps that I'm, I've been teaching you. And that concludes uh, the session for save and copy for from a previous operation.